Hey guys, ever wanted to get turn-by-turn -turn directions on your GPS device? Well, let me show you how to do that using Google Maps and a couple of uh, online resources so that we produce GPX files for you to import onto your device. First, you open your favorite browser, type in maps.google.com on the address bar there. Once that loads, search for your destination of choice. I'm going to use Cogswell Dam. There it is. From there, click on the directions button right here. And uh, I'm going to use Sierra Madre. Villa Station. There it is. Click on that. So Google Maps will draw the direction. Actually, you want to click on the cycling directions. There you go. And you get really interesting uh, elevation information as well, um, as well as various different directions of going. Uh, I'm going to go with the default and you know, if you know the route better, you can basically uh, change the route on the maps right here. Say I want to ride down Huntington Drive at this point. You can you can do that. And essentially, you can get to a point where you can customize the maps the way you like it. And from that point on, when you're satisfied, you go up to the address bar click on the link, uh, either right click, copy, or you use command C for Macs or control C for PCs. Once that's done, you open a new window or a new tab, which is what I'm going to be doing here. And I'm, I'm going to type in GPS visualizer.com slash convert underscore input. Once that's done, you'll see a page that looks like this and essentially you select the GPX output format leave everything else the way it is until you get down to the field that says or provide the URL of a file on the web click on that right click paste or command V or control V if you're on a PC and then click the convert button right here. We wait for the system to convert and when it does you'll notice that it gives you um, the text description of the GPX file. You don't need that. What you're going to need is this link right here where it says click to download. Click on that link and the download should come down and you'll notice that on my computer here it is the GPX file what I would normally do is rename it call it um, whatever you want it uh, I'm gonna call it Cogswell Dam and there you have it you just basically have your GPX file that you can use um, and export into your GPS device uh, whether it being your smartphone or a Garmin um, device and I'll show you how to do that uh, using a Garmin uh, Edge Touring uh, Edition GPS. The next thing you do is uh, take your Garmin device either plug it into your computer or take the micro SD card out and plug that into your computer. Uh, so I did that I took my micro SD and threw it into the back of my uh, computer here and this is what it came out with. This no name icon is really the microchip that uh, the Garmin uses to read out of. So when you double click on it, you'll notice that there's a separate Garmin folder. Within those folders there's a bunch of other different files. The one that you're looking specifically for is the new files folder here. So double click that and you'll notice that there's no files uh, in, in there as expected if you don't have any other directions. Uh, so 
you basically just go back to where you had your GPX file. Uh, for me, it was in the downloads folder. Uh, and just drag and drop that into that folder. And close the downloads file. And there you have it. And essentially, you just take that, eject. If you're on a Mac, you checked it out, um, and you're ready to go for the next steps. All right, so you've already loaded your GPX files onto your uh, Garmin or the memory card and placed it back in the Garmin. So we're going to take it from starting up the Garmin here, uh, and then from here, you'll wait for the device to load up. And once it's done, it's done. What you want to do is you want to go to the where to here and from where to go to save under save there's a courses and so you'll notice that there's two directions here um, you want to for some reason uh, that the the directions I got split it into two two separate uh, uh, locations I guess uh, courses so the first one is actually from Sierra Madre Villa all the way to uh, Monrovia, as you look at right here. I only know that because I saw it earlier, so Sierra Madrid to Monrovia. And, and then the second part of that is this thing right here where uh, you'll notice it's from Monrovia to Coswell Dam. So there's actually two parts, I mean two maps from the same GPX file. So. Not sure why that happens, so if anybody can uh, let me know, that would be awesome if I figure out how to at least make it into one file or something. Um, yeah, that's about it.